The Great Barrier Reef is the largest coral reef system in the world, located off the coast of Queensland, Australia. It spans over 2,300 kilometers and consists of over 3,000 individual reefs and 900 islands. The reef is home to a diverse array of marine life, including over 1,500 species of fish, 600 species of coral, and many other species of plants and animals. The Great Barrier Reef is considered to be one of the seven natural wonders of the world and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is also an important tourist destination, attracting millions of visitors each year for activities such as snorkeling, diving, and fishing. However, the Great Barrier Reef is also facing many environmental challenges, such as coral bleaching, ocean acidification, and impacts from coastal development. Climate change is also a major threat, as rising ocean temperatures can cause coral to die off and affect the overall health of the reef. Conservation efforts are underway to protect the Great Barrier Reef, including measures to reduce the impact of coastal development, improve water quality, and control the spread of coral-eating crown of thorns starfish. In addition, research and monitoring programs are in place to better understand the reef and how to best protect it for future generations. It is also an important tourist destination, attracting millions of visitors each year for activities such as snorkeling, diving, and fishing. The Great Barrier Reef is a remarkable natural wonder that is home to a diverse array of marine life and is an important tourist destination. There are approximately 300 coral keys, including 213 unvegetated keys, 43 vegetated keys, 44 low wooded islands, and 618 continental islands. The islands include Lizard, Lizard, Green, Fitzroy, Franklin, Dunk and Hinchinbrook. Some of the islands have a substructure of igneous rocks, mainly granite or volcanics. Many of the present reef areas were once hills on a former coastal plain, and these became islands when the water level rose after the last ice age, to be colonized by coral polyps. Each coral polyp lives inside a shell of aragonite, calcium carbonate, and the shells of dead coral are eventually cemented together and covered with more calcium carbonate from encrusting calcareous algae. The polyps can only grow in shallow warm water, less than about 30 meters depth and water temperatures above about 18 degrees Celsius. Coral is made up of many small animals. These tiny animals build a hard external skeleton to make the vibrant structures that we recognize. When healthy, coral has a symbiotic relationship with algae. The coral produces fluorescent chemicals that protect the algae from bright sun, almost like a sunscreen. The algae use photosynthesis to harness solar energy to make sugars. In this way, the algae provide food and oxygen, a byproduct of photosynthesis, for the coral, and the coral protects and provides nutrients for the algae. The algae also give coral its many colors. The coral and algae have evolved together to survive within a particular temperature range. As sea temperatures rise due to climate change, the algae begin to produce products toxic to the coral, which in turn expel the algae. This process is called bleaching because the coral becomes white. A 2018 study showed that about one-third of the Great Barrier Reef had experienced substantial damage from bleaching. The researchers also found that large amounts of coral had died in the warming water almost immediately, even before there was time to expel their algal partners. This suggests even greater risks from climate change than scientists had previously thought. So, is there still hope for the Great Barrier Reef? People are making a determined effort to help, and there are things that you can do right at home. Because climate change is an important cause of damage to the reef, efforts to fight it matter.
In 2015, 195 countries signed the Paris Climate Agreement, committing to work to reduce carbon emissions and taking other steps to address climate change. You can contact your representatives in Congress to urge the United States to rejoin the Paris Climate Agreement. You can also make changes in your own life to use less energy, produce less waste, choose environmentally friendly products, and be informed. Even your diet can make a difference. Eating locally sourced foods that don't have to be shipped to your neighborhood reduces carbon emissions. You can even be a citizen scientist and collect data for scientists if you visit the reef. Coral reefs provide food and livelihoods for hundreds of millions of people around the world, they protect shorelines from erosion, and they contain compounds that are used to treat human ailments. Even though they cover less than 1% of the sea floor, they harbor about a quarter of all marine biodiversity. The Great Barrier Reef makes up about 10% of the world's coral reef ecosystems and is one of the best known and most complex natural systems on Earth. It is the sea country home for the first Australians, more than 70, traditional owner groups whose connections to the marine environment date back more than 60,000 years. Today the reef is a marine park and world heritage area, supporting a range of commercial activities and attracting millions of visitors each year who come to enjoy its beauty above and below the water. The Great Barrier Reef is an economic powerhouse, contributing more than $6.4 billion each year to the Australian economy and around 64,000 full time jobs. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thank you.